Do you want a guide for a Happy New Year's resolution? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. One evening, an elderly Cherokee brave told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside people. He said, My son, the battle is between two wolves inside us all. One is evil. It is anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. The other is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, Which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply replied, The one that you feed. We read today the same Gospel reading read last Christmas Day. The opening words in the Gospel of John, in the beginning, are the same words to start the Old Testament. But while Genesis talks about the beginning of the created universe, John antedates that to the infinite beginnings of God Himself. Our life is a series of beginnings and endings and new beginnings. We say goodbye to 2021 and welcome 2022. We thank God for the year that was for the myriad individual blessings we received that surely outnumbered our personal calamities. We will reflect today on how we can become better in the coming year. Let the acronym Happy New Year be your example to your own resolutions for 2022. H. Have a plan for your life. If you want to, say, acquire a new skill, take up a master's degree, set up a new business, save money for retirement, and whatever else, you must sit down and spend time to map out your goals, your action plans, and most importantly, review and assess regularly, monthly, quarterly, annually. Answer the questions. 1. What do I want to be 2 years, 3 years, 5 years from now? 2. In what areas of my life do I want to set my goals? Work or business, church or community, service or vocation, spiritual or secular? 3. How do I measure each of my plans so that I can come back to each one of them and evaluate if I need to calibrate, change, or drop them altogether? A. Apologize easily and seek forgiveness immediately. People that come into your life are bound to hurt you and vice versa. No relationship is perfect because no one is perfect. Decide to have peace in yourself. Be reconciled regardless of who is at fault. At the end of the day, do not chain yourself to unforgiveness lest you want to be forever unhappy. Be healed in Christ. P. Procrastinate no more. Putting off something that is important is a surefire way to come up with a half-baked, mediocre, unsatisfactory result. Praying will not help you if you will not help yourself. Make effort, grit your teeth, and go through the arduous process of completing your tasks. Schedule wisely. Don't fill up your calendar. Learn to say no. Prioritize. Another P. Pray regularly, unhurriedly, deeply. Do a daily examination of conscience. Set a specific time of day to commune with the Lord. Keep that schedule sacred. Choose a quiet place. Pray the Holy Rosary daily. Pray the Psalms such as Psalm 23 and 91. Pray the prayer of St. Francis. Go to Mass more than once a week. It is the highest form of prayer. And receive the sacraments regularly, particularly the Holy Eucharist and Confession. Make the sacrament of confession a regular habit, if not monthly, at least annually. Read spiritual, motivational, inspirational books. They uplift and deepen your faith. Why yield to the better person that you have yearned to become? For example, 1. Humility. Don't brag about your accomplishments. If you have done something well, let others notice it naturally. 2. Broad-mindedness. Consider and accept other people's points of view. No one has a monopoly of ideas. 3. Integrity and honesty. Fulfill your commitments and do not overpromise. Give credit to where credit is due. Don't steal other people's ideas and make them appear to be yours. Pay your debts. 4. Humor. Don't take life too seriously. Learn to admit your mistakes and laugh at them. 5. Confidence. Quash your envy and jealousy. Learn to praise others for their successes. Letter N. Never have deep friendships with pessimists, malcontents, and busybodies. They only drag you down. Be wary of people who criticize others to you, for they are bound to criticize you to others too. 
correct in a brotherly manner and maintain the love. E. Encounter the poor and those who need your accompaniment generously. Share your blessings. Open your heart and your hands to those in the fringes of society. Jesus is with them and in them, for they are the closest to his heart. Give like you are giving to Jesus. Set aside money to fund charity, to bring poor children to school, to help the poorest of the poor. W. Wake up every morning with a positive mindset and a smile. There are things beyond your control. What you can control is your reaction to stimuli. You can control your anger. You can be more patient and understanding. Put yourself in the shoes of others. What others are going through may also happen to you. Be kinder and show goodness to those around you. Ask yourself every time you are about to blow your top, will it matter a week from now? Have a can-do attitude. Get up when you fall down. There is another day. Why? For yes should be your answer when asked to serve God. When offered to handle a new service, do not refuse. God uses your anointed leaders to bring you to a new level of opportunities that will redound to multiplied blessings. You may not see it now. You may not realize it today. But all things work for the good of those who love God and who are called according to His purpose. From Romans E. Edify deliberately and frequently with your words. Be profuse in your compliments, but do such sincerely. Do not cuss or curse. Only words that encourage and uplift should leave your lips. Do not gossip. Do not destroy the reputation of others by slandering them. Open your lips only when you have something positive to say. Say, I love you, I am sorry, thank you more often. Be truthful. Lying can become chronic in you. A. Appreciate your family more and keep your relationships intact. Keep in closer touch with family and friends. Develop deep and long-lasting friendships. Value family who will always stand by you when you are left with nothing and even when you have become a nobody. R. Realize and recognize the Lord's presence in your life. Reciprocate His goodness to you with gratefulness every morning when you wake up for the gift of life and before you sleep for a day that was full of blessings and lessons. The tough times will pass, but the goodness of the Lord will never wane. Never waver in your reliance on the Lord. Trust God. Thank God. For the fruit of gratefulness is joy, and the fruit of joy is peace. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, bless my plans for 2022. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ. Happy New Year!